In this video, we explore Byland Abbey, a ruined Cistercian Abbey, in the North York Moors National Park, with some of the most beautiful 13th century tiled floors I've ever seen. Join us. This is Byland Abbey, a Cistercian Abbey of great importance. It's probably the most ambitious Cistercian Abbey built in England during the 12th century. It was designed to accommodate about 100 monks and 200 lay brothers. And its church was larger than many contemporary cathedrals. I admit, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Look at that. As we were driving through the North York Moors, we turned the corner and there is the imposing facade of Byland Abbey. It's gorgeous from the road and even more beautiful when you get inside it. Now in ruins, thanks to the dissolution of the monasteries under King Henry VIII, it was absorbed by the Cistercian Order in 1147. It was founded originally in 1135. The ruined remains, though, still give some idea of how big this site was and how impressive it would have been. One of the most interesting features to me, which I don't think I'd seen previously, were the gorgeous 13th century floor tiles. There are so many of them in different shapes, colors, designs. They were fantastic. And the setting is perfect for an abbey. It's so peaceful and green. And we were there on a gorgeous day. We got very lucky. And the people that work there or volunteer there are fantastic. If you have any questions, even if you don't have questions, go chat with them. They know so much. There's a sign to not walk on the tiles. So I assume they're fairly old. This place would have been huge and it looks very ornate. And in a beautiful setting, wow. Looks like a gravestone that's so old you can barely see it. Look at that, isn't that fascinating? This would be the North Transcript. Sorry. <laughs> this would be the North Transept. So they give you some idea of what it would have looked like. And the tiled pavements are 13th century. Wow. And that's what the church possibly would have looked like. You can just imagine the massive columns that would have stood here.
tiles just get better and better. Look at that. This would have been so impressive and so tall. Or I should say this was so impressive and so tall. It goes back quite far too. This place was ginormous. The Refectory and South Range, built in the late 12th century. You can just see him sitting around here eating. The most important buildings of the monastery were arranged around this cloister or open square. There would have been fruit trees and silence was strictly enforced. Looks like a beautiful place to sit and contemplate.